Bonnie Tanisha K, also known as Mary to Katie K here on the YT, coming to you guys with a homeschool wrap up for the month of January. So first, let's just say this month is always our review month every single year. So this year, um, I was reviewing with our oldest, but with the preschoolers, I go ahead and start them up on what we're on the new curriculum. That makes any sense. So their school year is more of a January starts in January, whereas my oldest starts in the traditional um, early fall, late summer start. So I start them on new stuff. So for my preschooler, we have been using the ABC What Will I Be curriculum, where every single week we take a letter. Instead of learning about that letter as A is an apple, we learned A is for astronaut. And it was really, really fun. So I really like everything. I keep it stored in the Ziploc bag. So what I did is I printed it out in color. Um, this page, some of the pages I did not do in color, but the initial introduction page and the cards I print out in color. And then I cut it so it would be a full eight and a half by 11. And I also make sure that I put who created the work on this sheet and I laminated it with our handy dandy laminator that we got from Aldi's for like nine bucks. Okay, thank you, Lord. Now, then also it came with these little cards. So I um, it came with two pages, so what I did was I glued the cards together, so on one side I have cards like planets and earth and things like that, and on the other side we have numbers, so they can work on their counting. He is really advanced at the counting, but it was really good to help him recognize and do math, so that's what we're doing with these cards. Since he already knows how to count to 30, um, he does really well with counting as well, so not just like he can count 31 through 30, he can point at something and count 30 different things. We're not going to be using the number cards that much. We will use them to introduce early edition. So it ended up being a really fun um, introduction to this curriculum. So we alternate between this and there's another curriculum that we use for books. So we'll do the letter A for two weeks instead of one. So instead of doing a letter a week, we do A for two weeks. It also comes with writing um, where you can practice letters and all that stuff. So we do A. We read an astronaut book. I'll get a couple more books and we'll incorporate those over two weeks. But then the next week, our main focus will be on a different book. And so this time we did Giraffes Can't Dance. And it was really fun. And there is another curriculum for that. So again, I'll put a link below to that schoolhouseteachers.com um, information to that blog post. And also you can see the card above here that will link you to the video where I talk about schoolhouseteachers.com. So for our oldest, it was a really good month as well. Everything, like I said, we did reviews, so we just went back over everything. We're doing uh, My Father's World ECC, so what we did for that is we went back and visited every country that we previously visited, and we did learned about the democracy, especially with the inauguration and the election. So we learned about their democracy, we learned about their currency, we learned, um, we learned about the maps, different types of maps, and went over all that stuff. Did some visiting with Fraction, did some visiting with... Um, bumping up and getting our division back in check, long division and multiplication with three digit numbers and all those things. We did all of that. So it was a really good review month. Now the last three days of this month, we are going to be doing nothing but science and nothing but art. We're going to do that Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday because my son's birthday is coming up this week and he doesn't know it yet, but we are surprising him with a trip to Houston so that he can go to all of the NFL experience events for the Super Bowl. So he won't be here Thursday. He's leaving Thursday morning. He won't come back until Monday or Tuesday. So he doesn't know that yet, but he's going to be so excited. All right. So let me go ahead and do a quick homeschool haul for you guys. All the items that I'm going to show you is coming from Dollar Tree. And again, you can always check our post that's going to show you any homeschool videos that we've done for this month, as well as we'll have direct links to all of the blogs or any of the other videos that I mentioned. And just letting you know what our plans are for the rest of the remaining year and upcoming month. You know, 2017 is going to fly by just like every other year has done since you've been alive. So you better get ready and plan for it, honey. All right, so here's our haul. Picked up some clothes pins. These are always handy dandy. We're going to be doing a review of um, some of the older, older books, um, the older books, <laughs> the early Old Testament books that you know, they talk a lot about grasshoppers in there. When we were talking about the grasshoppers, we can make grasshoppers with these clothes pins. So I was like, oh, we're gonna do grasshoppers. All right, boom, grasshoppers, honey. I'm also gonna make some because I'm gonna give some to our church to show the preschool teachers how to do that. Um, I love teaching preschool guys, so I'm going to show them how to make those arts and crafts so they can do that with the kids. Um, picked up some of these foam counting blocks. I initially had bought some from Target, but they had these at Dollar Tree. So at Target, they have the, um, the same colors, but it's way less. It's not 50 at all. It's maybe 20 or 30 in a thing, so I was so happy to get 50 for a dollar. Can't never have enough of those staples. Come on now. These are good for stapling papers. These are also good for punishing your children when they act up. Just take the stapling. I'm just playing. It's a joke. It's a joke. 
It's a joke. U.S. history and government, of course. Now you know, guys. When I get these papers, these are just these are some guys. All right, guys, pick up this U.S. history and government. This is supposed to be for fourth through sixth grade. So just some sheets we can pull out over the next couple of years. These look like they were super fun and awesome. And I'm not gonna lie. I don't even remember how to say this word. The, 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 okay, I'm not gonna lie. I'm done. I'm done with this. I'm gonna have to learn how to say it before I teach it. Okay. <laughs> About to learn it so they have these guys we can make these 3d shapes we're about to get into that again so i definitely have to pick all of these up and guys one dollar and they had another one too like a rubik's cube type one that's like this one as well and um i left it out in the garage but i got all all and then last but not least these are the 50 cents posters again they're 50 cents because you get two in the pack so it's a dollar for the pack but each poster is 50 cents you can't beat that so here we have thinking algebraically, Got rules of divisibility, and I hadn't seen these. I'm always looking at the posters because like I need another poster. I don't need another poster, honey, but we're going up into the next grade. We got to be ready. We got to be ready. Literary devices and styles of writing, and I'm just going to keep them in the plastic, take them to Marta Marta, Mardell, and get them laminated because my lamination machine is just a poor paper, not for this. Geometry shapes. We didn't really need that. I really got this for the angles. And I think I have an angles one, but yeah, now I have two. I'm gonna have to, I need to do a poster inventory. I really do. I'm gonna do a poster inventory. This one I got really excited about. It has the root words, and I like it because it has Latin and Greek. And then here, another way to say it. So a, this is a different type of synonym poster. I really like, thought that was really cute. You know, because he's getting older now. He don't want to look at the same posters. He's getting older now. He's getting the big boy posters. And then this I thought was really cute for my preschoolers. Um, my body and organs. So my oldest, he has one that really goes into all the systems. And then over here is just my body. So I thought that when Princess and Bam Bam get older, they will really like to look at that next year um, when Bam Bam's doing kindergarten and Princess is doing preschool. Next, we have Reasons to Read poster. And that's something that my son loves to do. Good Reader's Habits. Never have too many reminders about reading. And then Types of Graphs and Word Cues. So I thought these are really good because I'm always trying to give them reminders, especially when it comes to the word cues. And then last but not least, I'm going to get into this next year. So this one I will laminate, but I'm going to keep it for next year. I have been really praying about what our theme is going to be next year and our homeschool and the direction that God is going to take it, you know. And it's so funny because I've just been really thinking. I've just been hearing, you know, the light, the light, the light, the light. When it comes to shining our lights on and making sure my son knows that. And I've been teaching him that from kindergarten, you know. Jesus Christ is the sun, but we are like the moon. And if you guys don't know, the moon reflects the light of the sun. And thank you, Lord. The moon reflects the light of the sun. And that is our job as believers, to reflect the light of the sun. Who is the son of the most high God? So when I saw this, I just could just jump and leap for joy in Dollar Tree. Keep shining the world needs your light. So every year I have a theme poster on our um, door for our home school. This year ours is Think Big. Um, and then this one right here says, always believe you can. So this year we are doing Think Big. Of course, I'll get into this next year. I'm going to start creating lessons and Bible studies right now. I can just feel it. It's going to be amazing. Think big, believe in God, thinking big and everything and just knowing that God covers everything, encompasses everything, including our education. But I hope you guys have enjoyed your homeschool year thus far. Again, check below for all those links that blog post with all that helpful information. And if you have any questions, you know what to do, guys. If you need to email me, all that's below. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed our January wrap up and our homeschool haul. I'll see you guys in the next video.